Good morning. Today we are going to complete the early bird catches the worm. Maybe. Okay. Um, there is a phrase in English that says the early bird gets the worm. So it says like it means the person that gets up early in the morning gets the good stuff, gets the good food. Okay. So they're saying the early bird gets the worm. If the bird can get up early enough, it will find a worm to eat for breakfast. Okay. So our characters are going to be a bird and a worm. Okay, so let's start reading to figure out what their names are and what happens in the story. Okay, afterwards, we are going to complete the back of this page together. Okay, I will read it and we'll work on finding the answers together. All right, so here we go. We are going to start up at the top. Get your reading finger ready right where it says bud. Okay, follow along. It says Bud is a bird. <gasps> Which one is Bud? Is it the bird or the worm? The bird. Bud is a bird. He wakes up early to catch a worm. Bud is hungry. Paragraph two. Will is a worm. <gasps> what is our worm's name? Will. Okay, so we have Bud, the bird, and Will, the worm. Okay, Will is a worm. He moves around in the dirt. Will sees Bud flying in the sky. Okay, so Will is crawling around in the dirt and he sees Bud up in the sky flying around. What do you think Bud is looking for? He's looking for breakfast. Bud is looking for food. Okay, paragraph four where it starts with I. I must hide, says Will. Will moves to the grass. He still sees Bud flying in the sky. I am not safe here. I must hide somewhere else. So Will still sees Bud flying and says, I'm still not safe. Okay, next paragraph. Will moves near a tree. He hides in the shade. Bud flies around the tree. The shade does not hide me. Do you think Will is worried? I would be worried. Will moves to the garden. He still sees Bud flying in the sky. I must find someplace safe to hide, Will says. Will looks around and disappears as Bud swoops down. Remember we talked about swoops with the mitten. When they swoop, they drop quickly. Okay, Bud, as Bud swoops down, Bud eats some bird seeds that he finds on the ground. Bud did not see Will, but Bud flies away as Will pokes his head out of an apple that fell from the tree. Will smiles and says, that was close. Did Bud eat Will in our story? No, what did Bud eat? He ate seeds or semias, right? He found some bird seed. Okay, flip over to the back. Make sure your name is at the top. Okay, and touch number one. Here we go, follow along. Number one says, why is Will afraid of Bud? Now remember, Will is our worm and Bud is our bird. So. Why was Will afraid of Bud? A, Will thinks Bud is going to eat his food. B, Will thinks Bud is going to eat him. Or C, Will and Bud like to play. Okay, why is Will afraid of Bud? Remember, afraid is como miedo. Okay, why is Will afraid of Bud? A, Will thinks Bud is going to eat his food. B, Will thinks Bud is going to eat him. Or C, Will and Bud like to play. Put that little circle around your answer, okay? Number two, put these sentences in order. You're gonna write one, two, or three on the lines, okay? So I'm gonna read these three sentences right here at number two. Okay, you are going to put a number one by the thing that happens first. 
a number two by what happens next, and a number three for the last one, okay? So the first one says, Will hides in the grass. Will hides in an apple. Bud wakes up early. So in our story, think back. What is the first thing that happens? Okay, if I were to read, it says Bud is a bird. He wakes up early to catch a worm. I think that was a choice. Yep, the last one says, Bud wakes up early. So that is the number one. That's the first thing that happens. Okay, so you're gonna put a number one right here. Okay, now you have to decide what happens next and what happens last, okay? The other two, I'll read them one more time. Up top it says, Will hides in the grass. Will hides in an apple. Okay, so what happened after Bud woke up early? Did Will hide in the grass first or did he hide in the apple? Okay, you're gonna put a two and a three. Go ahead and touch number three. It says, what does Bud eat in this story? Okay, Bud is the bird, what does he eat? Will thought he would eat him, but he didn't. Remember down at the very, very end, it says, right here in this paragraph, Will looks around and disappears as Bud swoops down. Bud eats some bird seeds that he finds in the ground. So you need to write, I just read the answer. What did Bud eat in the story? You're going to write it right here. And number four, which sentence is true? Okay, remember we've talked about true and false. True is, in Spanish we say la verdad, okay? And false is falso, right? So tell me what is true, okay? Which one is true? You're gonna circle the answer of which is la verdad. Which sentence is true? A, will can fly, B, Will is hungry, or C, Bud does not eat Will. Okay, remember Will is our worm and Bud is our bird. Okay, so I'll read it one more time. Circle which one is true on number four. Will can fly is, number, is letter A. B, Will is hungry, or C, Bud does not eat Will. Circle the one that is true. Down at the bottom, it says, now try this. This is something you can do for fun, okay? I want you, it says, on a sheet of paper, make a list of seven places Will could hide from Bud. Remember, to hide is como escondirse, okay? So think of seven places that Will could hide from Bud. Okay, that's kind of just a for fun. If you want to send it in to me, I would love to see the different places you think of. Even if you just want to write it right here in this space. Think of some places that Will could hide from Bud and tell me what those are. Okay, if you need to go back and listen to the story again, start the video over. Okay, go back, listen to what you need to. Good luck. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys again. Goodbye.